Good evening, everyone. Well, you know that famous song by the 80s band Europe called The Final Countdown? Well, in today's local Legion baseball games, every single play mattered, and there were two games that were decided, and who would be the champion? Let's get to the first of two games played in Nagani today. Blues taking on Hancock. Let's get to the bottom of the second. Luke Paul with the wild pitch, bringing home Alex Baker, and it was 1-0 Blues. Same inning. But now we're going to get to a different wild pitch. This time Ryan Hansen comes in to score, and Pen Spencer Larson does his best Superman impression right here as he goes underneath the tag, and they make it 4 0 at that point. So Blues in cruise control in the game. A few batters later, it was Jared Wales, and he shoots a single into the outfield. Eric Kostreva trucks around the bases to score, and it's 5 0 Blues at that point. And when Hancock even tried to score, the Blues wouldn't let them. Alex Van Wagner singles to right, but Riley Lynch is going to throw out Dax DeRocher at the plate and end the third inning. Blues got a shutout from Nick Camrata on the mound and went on to win by a score of 6-0 to play in the championship game at 2 p.m. So the next highlights we get to are the 2 p.m. game between Gladstone Indians and Marquette Blues. Second play of the game, Peyton Yurick bunts the first, but tries to run over first baseman Colin O'Neill. That football-like play is going to cost York playing time as he gets ejected right here by the home plate umpire. So I don't know if that was a good play by Peyton York, but it cost him playing time and maybe one of their best players in the game. But the Blues were fresh off a win and the bats were clicking on all cylinders. Nathan Much is going to stroke this double to left field. Eric Ostrava and Spencer Larson come in to score. It's 2-0 Blues. And then after getting all the way to third, a much is going to score on this wild pitch here to make it 3 nothing. So Blues with another early lead in this game. But the Indians are from Gladstone, and they're going to strike back, sort of like Star Wars. After a leadoff double from Jake Pearson, Jared Stenson sends his lift off this rocket of a home run to clear the fence. And just like that, the Indians were just down two by one, three to two at that point. And there could be a change of momentum here. In the, right the base is loaded, though. In the fifth, Riley Lynch walks and Jared Wales scores to make it 4-2. Nathan Much would come in in a wild pitch as well to make it 5-2. But in the seventh, the Indians had some life. Hayden Hardwick comes up to the plate and singles to left. Justin Yurick scored, and it was a 5-3 game with the tying runners on. But next batter, Jake Pearson, flies out here to right field, and that will be a ball game. Blues go on to win 5-3 and we're able to repeat as Mid-Peninsula champions and take home the trophy. So we have some local scores. Minor baseball, 8, 9, 10-year-olds. Norway beat Iron Mountain 6-5 in that one. And then 11-12 major baseball is Norway beating Kingsford 5-2 in that one. Five runs in the sixth and they advance to the state tournament in Kalamazoo. 13-14 junior baseball, Kingsford beat Iron Mountain 10-0. Delta County beat Norway 10 to 3 and then Kingsford beat Norway 8 to 1. Delta will play Kingsford in the championship game in Norway. And also some softball South Portage won 5 to 3 over Escanaba and Taylor East West 10 to nothing over Nagani.